Spence, yes, we've been all uh, wearing those glasses and checking out 3D TV. Uh, Frank Lee is here from LG. Frank, good to see you again. How are Thank you? you. Good, welcome back well. to the show. Good to have you here. Wow <laughs> is a word yeah. that we've all been using in the last few minutes because we've all tried this out, yep. this new technology. And it's affordable technology. It is. For people, it is. Right? I mean, if you look at just the TVs alone, the prices have dropped dramatically. Three yeah. years ago, for every inch of the size of the screen, it was $100. So here's a 55 inch today, and you're looking at less than $1,800. It's not only a high definition 55 inch TV, it's a smart TV and a 3D TV. Okay, well, I understand the 3D, the 3D technology, which is improving all the time, yep. by the way. It's incredible. You, you can't really see it uh, through your television uh, right now, but man, oh man, you got to check it out. What makes things uh, called a smart TV? In, in, in a, it's a good question. In essence, you've seen the evolution of TV. And really, the, the efforts by other companies and innovators have always been about picture quality, right? So bringing theater into the home, then black and white to color, color to HD, and now 3D. And smart is also part of that conversation. But smart's different. It's not about picture quality in this situation. No. It's about content. And it's the fact that people have different ways, different types of content, and how to get access to that content. Right. So, so, so you're accessing some content right now. Right. So right now, this in this dashboard here, this is content that's available. So whether it's content on, on the internet, yeah, or content that's available in the home through Wi-Fi or DLNA. So, yeah, because I see uh, Facebook, Twitter. Right. But then again, I see YouTube. Right. Which is basically something I watch on my computer. Right. But then there's MLB TV. I'm, I'm already in love with this, with <laughs> just that, that insignia right there. Yeah, so yeah. all things can be included yeah. and end up on this screen. Ex exactly, and without the use of a computer. So everything that you're doing already, whether on your phone or your computer, you can actually do from the comfort of a large screen television. Do you think the major problem that people have, other than the um, what looks like way too many remotes, but you can combine them all, <laughs> is the ability to... to work their mind around that and to be able to operate these systems easily because that's what to me what I'm not the most tech savvy right, guy right, right. but I want to know how it all works and I want to be able to operate it easily exactly and that's why if you look at the, the the interface the way you interact with it so not only the content the way it's displayed but even the remote the remote uh, when you purchase a TV from LG you get both of these remotes yes this is what you're comfortable and you're familiar with but everything you could do with this remote can now be achieved with this simple one and because this is of actually, what's on the screen if the way we've architected and designed it, okay. you're going to be able to operate your TV as if it was a touch panel from 10 feet away on your couch. Because gotcha. you could control it by simply pointing, clicking. Because you can see the, this, uh, the cursor moving right. wherever you point. It. Exactly. And so whatever it is you want to do, be it play games, be it watch YouTube, be it check out a movie on Netflix, be it Facebook, you're able to do with the one remote from your seat. Exactly, and and again, when I talked about uh, other devices, so you know whether it's a smartphone in your home, mm -hmm. you you can actually the videos, the music files, the videos can be thrown onto the TV right from your phone. From your phone. Yes, and so all taking advantage again. You don't normally if I had an interesting photograph. Yes. And I want to share it with you. And then there's a bunch of guys in the room, you'd either crouch over your shoulder right. or we would pass the phone around. Right. But again, here you have a beautiful television in the room. So just throw it right there wirelessly. Let everyone enjoy it. Uh, yeah. Same thing with music. You know, you have some of the people spend a lot of time on their playlists. When you get home, the, the, the speaker here isn't designed for that. Uh, or you want to dock it, but the docking station's in one other part of the house. Right. In the living room, again, just throw it right to the TV and take advantage of your surround sound system. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, the surround sound is becoming just as uh, as technologically savvy as as the uh, the uh, interaction with your TV screen itself. Exactly, right? exactly. And that's part of these packages that are available now. I mean, these are all LG products that you right. brought here today, right. and you can go into a store now and order it full up, like yes. the whole thing, and out you go. And as we go into the holiday time frame, you're going to see bundles. You're going to see incredible deals out there. Uh, even this past summer, we saw a 50 inch, 55 inch television that was smart, 3D, and came with a home theater package for under $1,800. But uh, more importantly, all of this, so now, you know, we're very pragmatic as Canadians. Right. So if you already purchased a TV in the last two years, yeah. the last five years, yeah. if, you know, there might be some buyer remorse, like, oh man, I should have waited. To help curb that, yes. this little device here for under $100 will make any TV a smart TV. The LG Smart so Upgrader? So internet, the Wi-Fi, all doesn't this content. Doesn't matter what brand? Doesn't matter which brand it is. 
All you need to make sure you have to have an HDMI input in the TV. So any TV in the last five years, most likely, is either a 720p, a 1080i, or 1080p. Yes. That means you have an HDMI import. It simply connect that, and it'll make that TV smart. So everything we discussed so far is capable through this device. Where can people, we're going to run, but where can people find out more? Best place is www.lg.ca. I know you're innovators and leaders in the industry, and I want to thank you for coming by. Oh, my and, appreciation. And, um, well, costing me a pocket full of money <laughs> this very day, and I'm not alone. I might as well put these on right now, because we all know where we're headed, don't we, fella? <laughs> Frank, great to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. All right. Uh, Sarah Freemark's out and about. Uh, we'll see her in, uh, well, 2D. Uh, <laughs> coming up uh, next, she's at uh, Zalometers. We'll be right back.